Hello and welcome to the JDSU HST 3000 product learning series. In this second module, I'll provide a short overview of the service interface modules, how to change them, and then what some of the LEDs mean on top of the unit. Now I'll show you how to change the service interface module, or the SIM, that's on your HST so that you can perform a different type of testing. You may be switching from uh, T1 or E1 or uh, copper testing, um, uh, perhaps HDSL testing, uh, to ADSL and, or VDSL or a bonded uh, VDSL uh, with copper testing. The SIMs are a little bit different, so you'll need to change them out if you need to switch technologies. If you turn around your HST so that you're looking at the back, you'll see two halves. The half on the top is the SIM, and the half on the bottom is the battery. About halfway down, you'll see a little screw that you'll turn counterclockwise to loosen the SIM from the unit. When you loosen it, there's a little spring, so that's, that screw should pop up. And then you can take your fingers and pull up the HST SIM near the number 2 here. And then remove it from the base unit. If you find the new SIM, or the SIM that you're going to be putting onto the mainframe, you'll notice that near the top is a little tab, and on the mainframe is a little lip that that tab will slide up under. If you put that tab into the lip first, and then slide down the back of the HST SIM, it should lock right onto place. When it's fitted properly, the tab should fit snugly underneath the lip. It shouldn't move around or anything. Then you'll retighten the quarter turn screw and the unit should stay in place. Now I'll spend a little bit of time going over the LEDs and I'm going to focus here on DSL testing. The function of the LEDs on the top of the unit will change a little bit depending upon the technology that you're testing, but I'll cover DSL now. On the top near the JDSU logo are six LEDs, on three on the left and three on the right. On the left, starting with the sync LED, you'll notice that it, it can either be off or flashing green or flashing uh, or solid green. If it's flashing green, then the DSL layer is training. It's, it's going through the idle uh, training uh, to showtime process. When it gets to a solid green, that means that the DSL layer is up. If you're doing data testing, like uh, authenticating if you're at the customer prem, uh, putting in the customer's credentials, uh, and then sending uh, PPPoE or IPoE for, uh, to authenticate with the DSLAM. You'll see a flashing green uh, if it's uh, authenticating, or you'll see a solid green, which means the data layer is up. If it continues to flash, then you've got some kind of problem that you need to authenticate. Perhaps the uh, authentication credentials are incorrect and they need to be checked. Next to that is the error LED. That's going to turn red if you have a data layer failure. So it, it, if, the, if, you got, if you went through the process where you were trying to authenticate and you had a failure or if you have some failure uh, at the, at the uh, DSL layer you might see that red, layer, red LED uh, go red. Next, on the right-hand side of the unit, the alarm LED is really only used for T1 HDSL testing, so you won't see that uh, turn color for a DSL testing. The loopback LED next to that is used for Ethernet and T1 or E1 testing. Uh, if you put your unit into loopback mode, then that, that LED will turn on uh, solid as well. Now looking at the battery status LED on the far right hand corner, that's a multicolor or multi-status LED. Depending on what's going on, you may see a solid green, which means that your, uh, your, your, um, your power is, is plugged in and you're charging up the unit, or it may be a solid red, which means it's a low battery condition. Or you may see a flashing red, which means that the battery is, is pretty low, you, you probably want to to, uh, to find a, 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 an AC or a mains supply to plug that in, or it's going to turn off on you. If it's a solid amber or an orange type of color, you're going to want to reset the battery. And you can reset the battery either by turning on the unit 
or, and, and then going to the system menu on the far right hand corner. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Or you can turn off your unit uh, with the green button and then holding down the auto test button that's at the same time you're uh, powering on the unit when you've uh, when the unit all comes all the way up you should see that uh, uh, solid light go to an off condition so that means that uh, it's already been reset and if the LED is off then the battery has a useful charge and you can go about your, your way testing in this section we learned how to change the service interface modules or SIMS so that you could test with a different interface say ADSL or T1 or bonded ADSL or VDSL. And then I went over a little bit of the HSD LEDs on the front of the unit. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.